Hi, my name is Hugh. I'm the developer of Instant Content Curator Pro. Great new program for curation of content on your blogs. I wrote this program because I was getting interested in blog curation and I really thought it was a great concept. Basically what it means is that you find interesting things on the internet and then you quote them and share those things and give full credit to the original source and um, add value and post on your blog. So then you basically you're providing a pointer to other material on the web and you're providing your own opinions, your own thoughts, your own value and the opportunity for other people to share your share of that material. If you're not giving credit to the source then you're not curating, you're stealing. So I want to make that clear. This is all about curation of other people's content which means you must give full attribution to the parties who are providing the content originally and you also have to be really careful not to uh, break any copyright rules and you're going to have to perhaps do just a little bit of research in order to make sure that you don't do that. And we have the tools for you to do that in the program, so it's fairly easy. Okay then, the first thing we have to do to run the program is to register and validate our software. So let's do that. You're going to put your PayPal email here, the email that you use to make your purchase on PayPal. And in here, you will have been provided a registration key at the time of purchase, either an email or on a responsive web page when you did place the purchase. And we want to ask you to just uh, agree to all this legalese in here. Basically, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen on the Internet because... Uh, this program is dependent on a lot of other websites and you know they could change at any time and we will stay on top of that we will change our code and try to keep everything working um, in the case that the external uh, sources do change but so far things seem pretty stable so let's just go ahead and validate and the program has been successfully registered and then we'll click here to start using the program this is the first screen you're going to be presented with. We call this the dashboard. Basically, it's just a place to reach everything else. I want to bring to your attention these uh, question mark icons. You're going to see them throughout the program on all the different pages. And basically, whenever, wherever you see one of these, you are able to mouse over and get a tool tip or some kind of uh, guide. Uh, and it's context sensitive so it'll be uh, related to whatever it's near. As you can see, the first thing you want to do to get started with Instant Content Curator Pro is to enter your blog's login information and set up your Google News feeds. And in fact, you cannot go to the other sections uh, before you set up at least one blog because you can't curate to a blog if you don't have a blog set up. So we'll just go ahead and go over that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at setting up your blogs. The first thing you might notice is this red X right here. It says in order to set up your blogs you must be logged into Google and have at least one alert set up as a feed. You can really think of Instant Content Curator Pro as a web browser with some controls put onto it. So um, you're going to need to basically sign into Google Alerts using this web browser, using this program in order to get the cookies set in the program. So so now you can see I'm logged in. I've got three alerts to create alert, all you do is you just click on create alert, type in a keyword. Let me see if I can think of a good one. Um, 
lobster fishing, just for the heck of it. Chinese want more lobsters. Okay, so deliver to, not to my email, but to a feed. Make sure you do that. And then you click Create Alert. And then you've got this, uh, another feed. Make sure they're all feeds. Or anything here that's delivered to your email is not going to get into the program. Okay, so it must be delivered to Google Reader, delivered to feed. Okay, now we can quit this, and we can see we still have this red X, but what we have to do is go here and click either this refresh or this one. And this explains it to you. Uh, retrieve or refresh your feeds listing. So we're going to do that now. See the program works. Okay, you are currently logged into Google. So we can, uh, the program basically browses to that page and just sees if you're logged in or not. And uh, now we have your feeds listed here. Okay, so let's enter a program, uh, a blog name. I'm, I'm going to do my German Shepherds. My German Shep Shepherd. And I'm going to select German Shepherds. Okay, now that I've uh, entered all the details, I'm going to go ahead and test. And it takes, may take a second to resolve, but as you can see down here, logged in successfully to the blog. So if I try changing it, just for the heck of it and test login error bad login pass combination okay so you see what happens when the login and password combination is not correct but here's another error that you might run into testing uh oh login error please enable xml rpc services on your blog you can click on this and it'll open up and uh, it'll go right to your WordPress login. So we'll go ahead and log in. And we're on writing settings. It takes us directly to the writing settings. You scroll down and you see this here, XML RPC. You got to click this, make sure that's turned on and save changes. Okay, great. Now let's go back to ICC Pro and test again. See if we had this before. Now we've got logged in successfully. So that's got to be done on your blog if it's not already set. Okay, so we logged in successfully. We've got, uh, now we're going to save. Okay. And <laughs> our super duper German Shepherds Across the World blog opens up. And, uh, here we've got some stuff already. Now if I want to add another blog, I just click Add New. Okay, I've got everything typed in now. I do a save, a test. Oh, bad login pass. And we got it right, so we're going to save it. And I can even open the blog in a new window if I want to and see the whole blog like that. <laughs> My little science fiction movie thing. Okay, so I've got two blogs now. And uh, clicking on one puts the details over here. And it also puts the blog here, although it takes a few seconds sometimes because the internet can be slow. Let me just make sure that's correct. Okay, actually, CT has three. Four, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to get used to sometimes um, a lag in these uh, windows that show other pages, but just have a little patience and everything loads up just fine. Okay, now that we've got some blogs, so before we move on, let me just show you that we can, in fact, um, delete or edit. As you click on one over here, its details are loaded here. You just edit them, change them, what, whatever you want, and click Save. And you can test anytime. And you can also delete. 
Okay, so we're back to German Shepherds again. All right, now we're ready to do some curation.